here's how to find an article in a database. From your My Ada page, go to Primo Library Search. From here, there are a few different ways to access databases. If you don't know which database to use, start by clicking on Subject Guides and scroll down to find your study area. Choose Articles Databases from the top bar. Here you'll find a list of recommended databases that you can choose from. Alternatively, if you know the name of the database you want to use, click on Databases. From here you can scroll down to the database you want, or you can type the name in the search bar. I'll show you how to use EBSCO databases, which includes the Australia and New Zealand Reference Centre, Business Source Complete, and CNAL databases. Let's go to CNAL. You may need to log in with your username and password. Click on Advanced Search. Enter each of your search keywords on a separate line. In this example, I'm looking for articles on how cognitive behavioral therapy impacts elderly people's quality of life. Here's some tips for searching databases. Use an asterisk to find words with different endings. I'll add an asterisk to behavior in this example, so I'll get articles with both the English and American spelling of behavior. Another example is child. Child with an asterisk will find results for child, childhood, and children. Use OR to broaden your search to include similar terms. So I want to look for articles that include keywords elderly or older or aged. You can also use quotation marks for search to search for a phrase altogether. Let's add that to quality of life. That's because I just want articles that include the whole phrase quality of life, not just quality or life. Now you can refine your search. Use these options to limit the results that you get. Choose peer reviewed to search just for articles that are checked by experts in the field. Tick full text to search just for articles that are available in full text. Note that if you're doing a literature review, do not click this one as it would limit your search more than you need it to. And you can add a date range here if you want. Scroll down and press the search button. Now you have a list of articles to choose from. To download a PDF copy of an article, click on PDF full text. From here you can select download or print. You can also email a number of articles to yourself as attachments. Start by clicking on the blue folder beside each title that you want to use. Once you've picked all the useful articles, select folder in the top bar. Tick the select all box and select the email icon on the right hand side. Add your email address and a subject heading that will help you keep track of your research in your email box. You could use your course code or search terms. Change the citation format to APA so the citations for each article will be emailed to you too. But always remember to check the ARA APA referencing guides before using them in an assignment. Click on the send button. You'll get an email with the citations for all email articles first, and then each article will be sent in an email with an attachment. And that's how you search for articles in a database. If you'd like more information on searching databases, check out our research guide. There's a link to it on the Primo Library search page. Look for the resources tab in the guide. If you have any questions, use Ask Live to chat with a librarian during our opening hours, or you can contact us by phone or email.